welcome back to the channel uh, it's been a long time since uh, I've done a video it's been over a month I think so apologies for that but circumstances uh, just gonna catch you up on some of the stuff that I've been buying over the past however many weeks uh, and a few books as well which I got for my birthday but that was a few months ago but I'll, I'll come to that so let's just get into it first one uh, I've heard uh, uh, Eric Woods talk about this a lot especially the opening title uh, and I, I, I do like the score but I just never had it uh, so I found it on it for a decent price you can still get it for a decent price but uh, James Newton Howard's signs uh, not a much loved film but I, I quite enjoyed it uh, and the score is uh, fabulous so yeah glad to have that and it's mint condition as well you can smell it taste it uh, I took advantage uh, a while ago of the the sale that uh, Verez did was it the spring sale spring cleaning sale they call it uh, and I got uh, a few things that uh, I've just missed out on before so I got the expanded uh, love field Jerry Goldsmith uh, lovely little score I got uh, Angelo Badalamenti's uh, blue velvet I went to buy this at a, uh, a charity store or thrift store whatever you want to call it uh, last year uh, it was for just the, the original Varese release and it was something like a fiver and I thought oh I'll get that but I didn't have a fiver on me so uh, I didn't have any money on me so I thought I'll get it tomorrow came back the next day it was gone uh, so glad to get that two disc loveliness uh, and I got that presumed innocent John Williams uh, I do like the score uh, so and I, took, I took advantage of it, getting it cheap so yeah so there's those ones uh, now, various eBay purchases over the the past few weeks. Uh, I've, I've been wanting this for years. I've had it. I've had it on a download from Apple or Apple whatever Apple download thing is. Uh, Army of Darkness, and I always I always get the composer's name wrong. Uh, I always pronounce it wrong. Uh, Joseph Leduca. Uh, just a wonderful, fun score and. Uh, the, one of the themes from the film was used as the trailer for Cutthroat Island when it first came out. There we go. Uh, again, another one I've had on download for so long uh, and I managed to pick up a, a very reasonably priced uh, copy of the score to The Fly 2 by Chris Young. Uh, not the greatest of films. It's got some wonderful gore in it, but not the greatest of film. The first film, that's a great film. But both, both films have great scores. First film, Howard Shaw. This film, uh, Christopher Young. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad to have that. I love, I love the simple, uh, that uh, just the fly too. I think posters should be more like that. Uh, or they should have uh, Drew Struzan artwork. Uh, another really cheap pickup from eBay. Uh, I've been wanting this for ages. Uh, I had the original LP release and it was the first LP that uh, Intrada ever put out. Uh, and then 22 years later, they did an expanded version of Red Dawn. So I'm very happy to have that. Uh, and it was less than a tenner. Got to be happy with that. So yeah, happy. Uh, another Telarc release uh, from Eric Kunzel and the, the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra. Lo I love these things. If you, if you haven't heard uh, Eric Kunzel's uh, compilations of film music, they are absolutely stunning. The clarity and the, the verve, the enthusiasm, the, it, they're just brilliant. But uh, I had a Western uh, one called Roundup, uh, and this is Happy Trails. It's Roundup 2, more Western flavoured goodness uh, from Cincinnati Pops. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, now this next one was uh, a score I'd, I'd heard of the film, uh, but I'd never really, I had never seen it, uh, and I've never, I wasn't aware of the music. Uh, but again, it was cheap on eBay, uh, and I'd heard good things. I, I looked up reviews of the score uh, and heard good things, and having listened to it, it is a lovely, lovely, fun score. Buddy, Elmer Bernstein, Bernstein, Bernstein. Yeah, I keep getting this wrong and uh, Dave Williams keeps correcting me. But I'm sure it's Dave, uh, that's not Dave Bernstein, it's uh, Elmer Bernstein. Uh, but uh, yeah, lovely score. If you can get a copy of that, well worth it. I can't find it on streaming, unfortunately. Uh, it's on YouTube though. If you want to listen to it, it's on YouTube. So, buddy, Elmer Bernstein. Uh, and I've been wanting this for ages as well. 
Uh, it's another Charles Gerhard National Philharmonic uh, re-recording, uh, but this was done uh, at the same time as the film came out uh, with uh, with the composer's blessing. And it's one I've wanted for ages and ages. It's been available for LP recently, uh, but the CD has been like hen's teeth. Uh, but I managed to get it for a, under a tenner again. Uh, and it's The Empire Strikes Back, uh, the Charles Gerhard National Philharmonic Orchestra recording. Uh, again, I've had it on download or streaming, I think. I've had it on streaming for, uh, listen, been listening for it for a while. Uh, but yeah. It's got the, I, I didn't realize, you know, the, the asteroid field uh, concert arrangement was from this. Wow, who knew? Uh, but yeah, I'm just so glad to have that. And it's a, it's a fairly decent copy as well. So uh, yeah. Now, this one was probably, a, a, I think, another Eric Woods recommendation. Uh, and I've, I've, I've had this on various kind of wish lists. And it, it, the price of this kind of goes from ridiculous to just beyond ridiculous. So I was just chuffed to get this at a decent price. And it's uh, Lee Holdridge. And it's the, the London Symphony Orchestra and Charles Gerhard again. Uh, and it's got things from Wizards and Warriors, which is a wonderful suite, uh, Splash, uh, Going Home, various other things, East of Eden, which I think was a TV uh, miniseries, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, but again, Along, along with Eric Kunzel, uh, Charles Gerhard's recordings are just sublime, marvellous, wonderful. Uh, and this recording is is great as well. A uh, lot of great stuff on there. If you can get a copy of this, please do. Again, it's available for streaming on, on Apple Music and Spotify and things like that. So if you get the chance. It's Lee Holdridge, uh, uh, various different things. Uh, London Symphony Orchestra with Charles Gerhard. Uh, great stuff. So... Uh, now this 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 was a I've already I've already got this uh, but I've always wanted this particular version of it it's the Star Wars score the, the expanded to this one that came out in 1997 there was the the one in the jewel case but there was also the one in the in the, the little kind of hardback book thing I mean I've got the recordings but I always wanted this I just it's just a it's a more kind of uh, prestige thing and I saw it on eBay uh, for and it was a really good quality and it was a, a fiver so I thought oh, I'll get that uh, and I did and it is it is in perfect condition uh, and I'm glad to have it but it came with the other three for a fiver so how's that I thought I was just getting the original Star Wars A New Hope but I got The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi as well All that for a fiver Whatever you think of the quality of the recordings, and uh, I, I know the uh, the four disc box set is the is the standard that everybody goes by, but I'm just glad to have those. Just feel nice. Anyway, I'm I'm happy. That's the main thing, isn't it? Uh, it was my birthday a few months ago, uh, and my partner uh, Ali bought me some books. I say bought me; they were on a wish Amazon wish list. I'll quickly go through them. Uh, Making Movie Magic, a lifetime creating special effects for James Bond, Harry Potter, Superman and more. John Richardson, great uh, uh, English special effects man. But it's a, a, a wonderful, wonderful book. Uh, glad to have that. And then J.W. Rinsler, who died uh, recently, uh, unfortunately, has written some great making of books. Uh, he did the, the, Star Wars, the original Star Wars trilogy, Indiana Jones, Planet of the Apes, loads of them. And they are just great uh, but I got the aliens one lovely 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 stuff uh, and because of the recent uh, re-release well recent it was quite a while ago now but uh, uh, I got Star Trek the motion picture inside the, the art and visual effects Jeff Bond and Gene Kozicki uh, it's one of my favorite Star Trek films always has been uh, and it looks brilliant in the new uh, director's cut uh, 4k version uh, but uh, and it's a, another wonderful book so yep yeah, that's it uh, I've got another I've got uh, City Hall coming from Varez uh, uh, hopefully it'll be here in the next week or so so I'll, I'll let you know when that comes but I'm also planning to do a, a review of a score that I love and the film is appalling uh, 
uh, but I've got various versions of the score uh, and I'm going to do that soon so look out for that uh, but that's it I hope everybody's well uh, and hopefully I'll get some more videos out soon uh, but uh, yeah take care of yourselves and good day <laughs>